The Cherry Springs Star Party is probably one of the best star parties run in the Northeast United States. And it's actually run by the observatory that I'm a part of. Now, last year, we couldn't have it. So I actually even have a video called Cherry Springs 2020, sort of. But a lot of us still went. We still kind of had a star party, so to speak. Just wasn't official. Uh, this year, unfortunately, it has been canceled yet again, officially. Okay, but a lot of us are still gonna go and we're still gonna do astronomy. The uh, stars are not affected by viruses, fortunately, and we're still gonna have a lot of fun. Now, there won't be any vendors there, there won't be any food there, but it'll still be a good time. And I'm gonna give you just two things today on like how to prepare if you wanna go. Now, anytime you go somewhere that's remote, maybe a three, four, in my case, it's a three and a half hour drive to Cherry Springs, you don't want to forget anything. I'm taking a pretty substantial rig this year, and maybe even my binoculars on my parallelogram as well, if I can fit it in the car. But with all this complicated stuff that you got to take with you, it's important to not forget anything. If you forget a single cable, you might be down for the night. Now, let me tell you, you do have kind of a backup plan. If you do forget something, don't be afraid to go to tent to tent, okay? And ask people, hey, do you have a spare blah, blah, blah widget, okay? Because there may be somebody there who has a spare with them, okay? But that's not to say that you shouldn't be careful and just make sure that you bring everything yourself. Now, what I've found is helpful for me when I'm actually going somewhere remote is I like to set all of my gear up right next to the vehicle, okay, right before I go. Just have it all set up, all ready to go, as if I was going to do something here, okay? And then I take it apart and, pack, and then pack it in the car, okay? I don't take it from, oh, I got this widget in the closet in the basement, and I got this thing in the shed, and throw that all in the car. Because if you've got all these pieces that are scattered around, and you're throwing them into the vehicle over a long period of time, you know, like an hour or two that it takes to pack, odds are you're gonna forget that one thing that you need in order to do your imaging or observing. So, set all your gear up. Actually, I even like to t just take everything and lay it out on the ground in front of the vehicle, and then just make sure that visually every single thing is there and then I put it right in the car. Now last year when we did this, we actually tented, okay? We, we did the whole tenting thing. And some of you may tent and some of you may not. And this brings up that number two tip that I have for you. Make sure you pack a lot of warm clothes and some heavy blankets. Up at Cherry Springs, it gets cold. As a matter of fact, just two weeks ago from when I'm making this video, they had snow up there, all right? So who knows, we may even get snow again. You know, it's 2021, it's been a weird one. But anyways, pack warm clothing, okay? Now I'm actually staying in a trailer this time around. What we did is we actually rented one. It's actually gonna be delivered to the site. And then we're just gonna arrive in our vehicle and you know, make ourselves at home. But we have two infants now with us, so we kinda gotta do things like that. Otherwise, I would tent it. And if you do bring an air mattress, here's another tip, okay? Make sure you put some warm blankets over the air mattress itself and then blankets on top of yourself. Because I found last year when I tented, the cold from the ground came up through the air mattress and I was basically, it was like I was laying on a, an ice cube of cold air, if you will. So it gets cold up there, dress warm, bring gloves, bring jackets, you know, think of it as winter time because it's a high altitude, at higher altitudes with, when it's thinner air, you know, it tends to cool off a lot more at night. Usually the temperature will drop about 20 degrees throughout the night, especially if it's a clear one, which it's a star party. I hope it's clear. Now, anytime you go to Cherry Springs, basically there is always a crowd there on a new moon, you know, because that's the time to go. And if you see me there, you know, by all means say hi. Don't worry, I don't bite even though it's at night. <laughs> And yeah, I'm gonna have a good time. My family actually really enjoys going on this. Even though my wife has absolutely zero interest in astronomy, she loves going to this because there's a little lake we get to go to, there's canoeing, there's kayaking in the area. There's, uh, there's just a lot of fun stuff to do with the family at Cherry Springs and in the area. So 
bring the whole family. It really can be a fun thing. I know I'm taking a bike too. Me and my son are gonna go on the trails and we're gonna hit some dirt and uh, we're just gonna have a good time. Even if it's overcast, we will have a good time.